Kia ora. I'd like to speak with you about tawaka mushrooms and their relationship with the tawa, and the tawa tree and the hoheria tree. Uh, I got asked the other day by a friend when I was going out harvesting tawaka mushrooms, he said, uh, hey, if we do all this conservation work, are we going to see uh, a greater abundance of tawaka mushrooms? And the interesting answer to this is no. Currently, we are seeing a monocrop, a monoculture of tawa trees and hoheria trees, which are the host species of tawaka mushrooms. The reason that we're seeing this monoculture is because deer and goats are browsing out all of the other species and tawa trees and hoheria trees simply aren't that palatable to deer and goats. As we do our conservation work, as we cull back species that are introduced to this landscape, we will start to see the recruitment of our rangatira rākau. We'll start to see the recruitment of tōtara once more, miro, matai, kahikatea, reimu. All of these are lovely fruiting species that create abundance for forest ecosystems. But as they emerge and as they, they replace tawa and hōhiria in the canopy, we will start to see a reduction of tawaka mushrooms. As we see a reduction of tawaka mushrooms though, we will see an increase in the diversity of food sources that are available to us as people, but also available to the birds around us, the insects around us, the lizards, the bats, and also the other trees. And so what, instead of seeing uh, gluts of one food source at a particular time in the year, such as tawaka mushrooms, we will start to see Rimu fruiting, miro fruiting, uh, kahikatea fruiting, tōtara fruiting, we will start to see a cons consistency of food available throughout the calendar year so that uh, the birds have a consistency of food sources, we have a consistency of food sources, and overall an abundant productive forest ecosystem. Because right now, although it's great to be able to harvest a tawaka mushroom, and they're everywhere you look because they grow on uh, dying or uh, damaged tawa and hoheria trees, we, um, we get a glut of them. And then once they're gone, we get dead spaces in the, in the calendar year of kai availability. And what I'm hoping to see through our conservation work is a consistency of food and consistency of resources for the birds around us and overall a greater diversity of our forest system and a whole bunch more food for everyone in that system. So that's tawaka, um, tawa trees and hoheria and their place within the ecosystem. Uh, it's not necessarily a good sign rather than a sign of a monoculture and a sign of a uh, devastated forest is an abundance of tawaka mushrooms.